Hi guys, Zach here, and welcome to Unit 3 of our Wizards Game course. And today what we're going to be doing is looking at the differences between game objects to where we can actually figure out, okay, what kind of game object is this? Is it a player? Is it an enemy? Is it a coin? What is this? Right? So what we're going to do is use enumerations for that. And so let, let me go ahead, I'm just going to create a new enum. And I'm going to call it ID in all capitals there. And essentially what an enum is, or an enumeration, is the concept of, okay, you can basically put an ID on something, but you can just call it whatever you'd like. So like instead of like maybe say having an integer of like if int ID equals 1, then it's a player. If int ID 2 equals uh, or if, if, if the ID equals 2, then it's a box, you know, something like that. Instead, we can just, in this ID enumeration here, put, let's say, um, player. And if we just do that, then now we have this player ID that we can call. I'm going to go ahead and put everything in this ID that, we, er, that we're going to have in our game. So what do we have? We have ID, we have our block that we're going to have in the game. We have, let's say, our crate. So we can pick up ammo. We have our bullet that we're going to have eventually. And let's say we have our enemy. I think that's everything. So we're going to have five separate objects in this game. They're all going to be game objects. Every one you see. So we have our player, block, crate, bullet, and our enemy. All going to be game objects. And now they have their proper IDs. So if we go into our game object here, and let's add another protected ID ID and we're going to put this in our parameters now we'll say this dot ID equals ID and let's set a getter and setter for that as well so our ID put that down there actually in our box now you see we're getting an error because what we need to do is just in here ID ID and then we do our super ID which now in our game we're getting an error because remember we added this box but now we need to add the ID associated with this so we could say ID dot um, we'll just say block for now so now as you can see we get the same thing going on here right where you know nothing's really changed for us but uh, what we do have happening is that now it's ID so in our game we know hey that's a block not not the player why would why would we want this well if everything's game objects how in our especially our player is a game object how would we control movement how would we control collisions with different things right you can't have everything in the game think it's like everything right you can't have a block thinking it's a player because when you try and move with the arrow keys or your WASD the blocks are gonna move too so uh, it's very interesting uh, but it's a very simple way to do this go about this so go ahead do a little bit more research into IDs and uh, enumerations and then in the next unit what we're going to be doing is creating our actual player object with the proper ID and setting up a little movement system for them all right